Hi guys, welcome back. This is another episode of the Launcher a Week, and this video might be a little longer because Launcher videos are generally, you know, uh, kind of a little bit lengthy. If you really wanted to try this Launcher, then please watch this video. Otherwise, wait for my next video. So this is Launcher of the Week video. That means uh, I'm going to show you guys some Launcher, any Launcher which I'm using from past, uh, maybe a week or more than two weeks. So if I really like that Launcher, that means there should be some good feature, unique feature uh, that you should be trying also. Then I will show you that's why this is called as a launcher of the week. So in case you guys ask my favorite launcher for all time is the Nova Launcher Prime and I like the stock launchers for example the Google Pixel launcher. My Pixel Nexus phones are always have this launcher. So other phones I do try some different launchers so this is OnePlus 5 and I'm going to try this Microsoft launcher. So a slight history here that so this is a, a renamed launcher from the Arrow launcher. So Arrow launcher was also part of the Microsoft so now they have renamed it the Microsoft launcher. It's still in the beta, but you can download and use it. That means the preview version is near about working fine. There is no issues at all. So the aim of this launcher from the Microsoft is to push the Microsoft services or feature that maybe you are using on the Windows computer to the Android iOS devices. That is the main motive. And also this launcher is not like Nova Launcher Prime. Uh, so you should not be expecting much high customization like whatever you wanted to do that. You cannot do that on this launcher. And I will just show you guys a few important points which I really like about those ones because there are so many points to cover but it's really impossible to cover in single video. So guys let's get start and see the Microsoft launcher review for the Android. So you should be seeing this launcher preview here also and I will be showing you some different preview too. So this is the uh, home screen of this launcher. So sometimes I do call it desktop but people really don't like it so home screen. So the best thing you will see the wallpaper. The wallpaper in this launcher is coming directly from the uh, Bing daily wallpaper. So if you just open Bing.com, you will see Microsoft usually change wallpaper each day. That means, and these wallpapers are guys, you know, original wallpapers. They are not computer generated. So uh, generated, sorry. So they may be uh, your Earth wallpaper, universe wallpaper. So right now you can see this is a galaxy. I guess uh, it's a nebula galaxy something. So all wallpapers are very beautiful, and I'm really very huge fan of uh, this Bing wallpaper. So for all natural wallpapers and all the cool stuff, so you should try this Bing wallpaper. So you will get this daily. Uh, Bing wallpaper both on the lock screen and the home screen. All right, guys. So, and also let me show you the best, one of the best feature. I really like it. So as you can see, uh, it has uh, this a uh, unique dock feature. I guess I have reviewed more than 36 launcher till now. Uh, till now, I haven't seen such feature. This is so nice feature. So why I like it because you know you guys know that Galaxy phones are having this edge panel. So it can make your home screen completely clean. You can just have four to five icons on the dock. And remaining icons you can just push to the edge panel which is very cool so the same you can do here so by default you have the five uh, applications here if you just swipe up you will get extra five and also some quick toggles so you have some five quick toggles here and also you have some five more there so on the desktop you are getting so many tweaks and, and all things are working control the brightness everything you can see super cool quickly control so this is one of the best features i like about this launcher the wallpaper this talk and you have the built-in uh, calendar weather widget which shows you current temperature outside am pm and the weather status as a uh, uh, maybe uh, whatever it is so october monday everything shows there and also you do have options to change your uh, search bar so right now i have taken this uh, google but you can change to bing or yahoo three launches are there they do have this uh, built-in you can see this qr code scanner you can definitely take this qr code scanner from here and also uh, they do have this uh, voice search you can easily type here and you can just take uh, if it is take show me today's wallpaper so sometimes maybe not working anyway that is a different thing so this is a quick overview and let me show you one of the another cool feature of this launcher which is called as this customized feed so uh, basically i really like it so much so you can either add any of the widgets whichever you wanted to add that you have flexibility to add on the desktop that means on the home screen on a separate page or maybe on the feed so i like it on the feed because that will make your home screen complete clean so let me show you tell you guys a quick preview so this is a uh, free for that means your calendar events it reads your calendar it shows your calendar information and you have complete uh, news so th these news are basically coming from msn.com so if you like you know if you have logged in the same account so probably it will show you the same news that you will see on the msn.com so these are the recent videos as you can see it shows you direct uh, photos and gallery so you don't need to open dedicated gallery applications to you know just uh, check your recent photos and videos you can just see it from here frequently used applications they do have all this feature here and going down actually i have uh, hidden my contacts you can completely preview your contacts here notes is there this is built in microsoft launcher to do note so you don't need to download any third-party application 
and this is guys one of the best features so you guys know that i am a windows guy that means all of my computers are windows 10 so uh, you can see these are the wallpaper not wallpaper <laughs> these are the actually uh, powerpoint or pdf whatever files you are working on this computer it will show here if you have this uh, ms word application installed you can edit the same year that means the place uh, the time edit you have left there you can continue the same year and also you can continue on pc so this feature i guess is coming you need a windows 10 creators fall update i have to update my computer you can connect the same file from here to the computer you can remotely edit that so maybe we'll just see how this feature work and going further you have the to do node again the built in to do node you don't need google keep to do node moving further you can see you can add your widgets i have added my google keep widgets here this is google drive also i have added here let me show you how you can add extra widgets so once you click here or also if you just go to this customize field you can add any widgets and card from here so whatever you want you can just add it there this is guys one of the cool feature because you know it is built in in your phone uh, your home screen is completely clean and if you guys are missing google now feeds definitely it is possible you can just have to add google shortcut so you have one touch google now shortcut with the google app and this feed so your home screen is completely clean and it is something like you know more or less oneplus launcher they are trying to add it but this is more customizable and i really enjoy it so much and also let me show you this uh, settings so yeah they do support uh, 8 to 10 gestures as you can see i've just made it to open application drawer and you can customize it you can change the way the galaxy want from left to right or from top to bottom whatever you want they do have search frequent application and this number of scrolling so uh, it's okay um, it's completely visible you can see the wallpapers also and if you just go to the launcher setting you can see it has some customizer backup and restore if you want to transfer the same backup to other phone definitely you can transfer and you can use the same launcher to get that so as i said you guys you are not able to expect so much customization because this is a microsoft launcher not something actually on nova so whatever they are giving they are very cool so search which you can change you can take the search engine yahoo sorry it was yahoo so other things are they have the qr code system setting you can open from your tips and tricks support change wallpaper back and restore so uh, some gestures are there two finger single finger double finger and all the dog so guys this is your quick preview for the microsoft launcher now as i said here there are a couple of unique features this unique dock feed wallpaper these things are very unique to here so is there another launcher but this is something very optimized here now, what i don't like in this launcher as i said here guys i'm not able to customize everything so you have you have options to add and change the icon pack definitely it is possible there but you cannot change the folder layout that means if you really wanted to have some rounded folder like the pixel launcher pack or maybe if you have taken pixel icon pack and you wanted to have rounded pixel style folder layout you cannot change it and in some launcher i have seen that you know if you have such kind of layout you, you can easily navigate in between folders you cannot navigate between folders you know there is no things are that and one important thing i wanted to show you if you just go to launcher setting you can see under the customization they do have the high performance mode so since this is 8 gigabytes ram model so definitely very fast machine so i'm taking all the visuals but if you have lesser ram say 2 gigabytes 3 gigabytes definitely you can just turn up the visuals everything will work super cool so this is again very nice feature so overall uh, what's my recommendation yeah it's a nice thing if you have a windows computer like if your computer is primarily running on the windows and if you're using same email account there definitely is a great thing you know you can see the, all the documents you can edit from here and all the notes all the thing will come here and you will also feel the same thing so some drawbacks i have told you and this wallpaper stuff i really like it if you want an phone which can change wallpaper daily definitely you don't need to depend on third party application this is a microsoft bait launcher and definitely you will get lot of uh, bug fixes improvement since companies like microsoft you know they don't just abandon the application they'll work cool so all guys i'm going to use it from now from almost 8 to 10 days i'm using this launcher it's a very nice launcher give it a try you won't disappoint microsoft companies as a great company so guys there you have it this is your microsoft launcher for android thank you for watching this is sort of i'll talk to you very soon have a great day